rolling. Rolling. Yoo-hoo, darlings. It's happy hour. It's your Auntie Glam. Here we are, my angels. 21 days in captivity. And here we are for yet another happy hour with my dear friends David Sitkowski on piano and Nathan Carrera on the guitar. Now, darlings. Before I say another word, I want to just acknowledge the fact that Nathan is here. And you may be wondering, how on earth uh, do we have Nathan there if they're um, deselecting from society, darlings? Well, this is my 21st day in captivity, as well as David's. And, um, well, Nathan has been in self-captivity as well. And so we thought, well, we'd combine households after giving ourselves plenty of time in quarantina. And the other thing I want to say before we begin, because we are calling this happy hour, darlings, and I want to acknowledge how much horror and misery is happening in the world, and to thank all of the people who are taking care of everyone who's so sick and who are suffering, and to let you know that we haven't forgotten about you, uh, and we are uh, just here with all of the other people who are trapped inside, wishing and praying for the best for all of you. And so now, we will continue with our happy hour, trying to be as happy as we can under such difficult circumstances, my darlings. And so we're going to start out with a little song by a wonderful pop star by the name of Harry Styles. Just like a song. I want more berries and that summer feeling. So wonderful and warm. Breathe me in, breathe me out. I don't know if I could ever do without. I'm just thinking out loud. Watermelon sugar, strawberries on a summer evening. Baby, you're the month of June. I want your belly and that summer feeling. Getting washed away. Breathe me in, breathe me out. Sounds just like a song. I want your belly and that summer feeling. I don't know if I could ever go without ah! watermelon sugar high. 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 Sugar high, watermelon, 
sugar. Oh, my darling. Now, that made me feel a little bit better. Something sort of, of you know, high energy and vibrational, darlings. Now, I want to tell you something. Today, maybe you knew it and maybe you didn't know it. It's children's book day, darlings. And I was trying to find some sort of children's book to read to wonderful people. And I looked through my collection of childhood stories and most of them had thinly veiled racism, darlings. White supremacist narratives. And I thought, well, I absolutely refused to engage in that sort of behavior. So instead I decided to do, um, what would you call it? Gender fascism. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read to you from Anita Colby's beauty book. Uh, she'll teach you how to be a star, darlings. So let's see, it's the first chapter. The first chapter is, let's make a star out of you, children. And first of all, you should see Anita Colby did her own illustrations. And that's you, an undeveloped future star, darling, with pigtails. <laughs> In Hollywood, for several years it was my business, and I must say, my pleasure, to groom aspiring young actresses for stardom. I found it an exciting, engrossing study to uncover a girl's own talents, develop her real individuality. It was my business to give my charges assurance, to put the tools of ease, poise, and self-confidence in their hands. Over and over, and it came down to a formula. Disguise her worst points and dramatize her best ones. We would experiment with makeup, establish a new personality by the kinds of clothes we designed for her, and make her over with a new hairdo. Work on her voice, diction, posture, and actual manners. It was rather like being a mathematical formula, finding a mathematical formula, excuse me. We had to evolve lines and cuts and colors that would keep figures from revealing their faults and imply they were perfect, glamorous 34s. I wonder what a 34 is, darling. We had to experience on place, experiment on placing the emphasis in a face, whether to play up an unclassic feature or to camouflage it. We would make a girl seem tall by a certain hair arrangement in which uh, we added uh, to a skirt line the balance of lights and darks. I went out on blah, 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 darling. That's just the beginning <laughs> of Anita Colby's beauty book. Now, we've got something else for you, a song. We're going to do a song by one of my absolute favorite performers and uh, songwriters in the world, and certainly one of the greatest singers, in my opinion. A woman who has lived one of the most fabulous li livable lives. You know, one of those people who has done everything, darling, and survived, and who's come out wiser for it. And of course, I'm speaking of none other than Marianne, darlings. Marianne Faithful. This is a cigarette holder unfortunately empty at the moment. Not so much as a joint, my darlings. Uh, it's a cigarette holder that a wonderful young fan gave me years ago with this beautiful picture of Marianne on it. And we're going to do a song from one of her more recent albums. It's a song called Love, More or Less. <laughs> I travel by the moon and the stars And I travel by the river and rocks I see the Roman gateway to the town And the secret of the Holy Land unlocked And I always thought that love must surely be Something clearly seen in black and white But we can make it how we want it to be Or change it if we need to Change it overnight
loved you for so much, for so long. Then our love had changed, it changed overnight. I know I can't control you right or wrong. Please don't shrug it off. Don't throw it out of sight. everything that I have done, the years, the days, the hours, life it don't overcome, it just opens like a flower. Darlings, isn't that a beautiful song? We send all, the, all of our love to Marianne. We love you, my darling. And now I'm going to read another little section from Anita Colby's beauty book. <laughs> this is a, a What One Does on a Thursday. And since today is Thursday, uh, Thursday, care and feeding of the eye. <laughs> Early in the morning, while the dew is still on the flowers, go to the fields and pick some eyebright, tie with a thread from a mare's tail, and boil. <laughs> no, 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 darling. She's joking in the book. She even says so. No, no, no. No dark doings with cauldrons and herbs. Just take care of your eyes. <laughs> now, darlings, we're going to do a song that was written by a Bahamian voodoo priest by the name of Exuma. And it's a song that was, uh, I originally was uh, introduced to it by a wonderful Israeli girl by the name of Tali, who was a huge fan of Nina Simone. And uh, Nina Simone recorded this song in, the, in 1971, I believe, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. And I found it to be ever so predictable. And it's a wonderful song. And, uh, well, we'll see if we can remember it, darlings. It's been a while. <laughs> There are no more babies being born. 
When there is no one and there is everyone. When there is no one and there is everyone. Tomorrow will be the 22nd century. Tomorrow will be the 22nd century. Tomorrow will be the 22nd century. It will be, it will be, it will be century is coming. Don't give up hope. Don't lose hope. Love each other. 
take care of each other. Stay in, drink gin. Nobody loves you more than your auntie glam, my darlings. See you next time, angels. Mwah!